Hey, what's going on everybody? It's your boy, Just Norm. This is my new channel, Just Art. I hope you all have been enjoying the content so far. If you are a beginner getting into digital art, you definitely need to have an art tablet. Today's video will focus on a cheap art tablet, the Vike A50, that I myself use, and I purchased it back in November 2020. It took a while to do a review about it, but I believe this review will hopefully help you understand the capabilities of a digital art tablet and why I think this one is the best for a beginner in 2021. If you find that this video is helpful, definitely hit that subscribe button. Click the notification bell so that way you're notified every time that I post new content. Let's get into it. Here is the Vike A50, and this is the box that it comes in. Um, excuse me if the box is a little dirty. It's been sitting up on the shelf for a little while. Uh, 8192 levels of pressure sensitivity, 8192, which is very helpful for if you're trying to create line work and you want to draw light or draw heavy uh, without having to adjust the size of your stroke so it comes in this box okay it comes all nice packaged up um, so it comes in this sleeve and there's a little short manual here this does not give you a lot of details about it but this tells you how to get it set up with the drivers and it also tells you how to change the um, tips um, of course, I know it has a different name for it, but here's the pen, and this pen works really well. Uh, one cool thing about it, it has two buttons on here that you can actually, and hopefully I can get that to focus a little better. Sorry if my desk is a little mess, but um, it's my work zone. Yeah, still not yeah, focused, but you can see it. There's two buttons there, and that helps you. You can program them to do clicks or to switch if you're doing Adobe Illustrator or, or any Adobe products you can use it to switch between different tools so that comes in handy or you can just turn it off uh, which is kind of what I have I have it turned off because sometimes when I when I first started using this it took me a while to get used to not clicking those buttons and you're clicking on accident to mess you up so um, comes in this nice little case and I think that's pretty cool it also gives you spare um, inserts for the tip. I just call it a tip. But anyway, you got multiple tips that you can use. So that comes in handy. Okay, so once you're here on this page, you have the pen setting and you have the two buttons that I mentioned earlier. And you can go in here and you can set them to what you want. You can put it on pen and erase uh, if you want to do that. You can set it up, you know, to open up an application. Uh, there's various different things that you can do with that. So right now I have mine checked off as invalid, um, which allows me to, if I happen to click a button, it just closes my line or closes my shading or whatever I'm working on, but it stays within the same mode. Over here, you have your pen pressure. Your pen pressure works like this. Uh, you have an input and output. So basically input is how much you press on the pad, how much you put in and how much will come out. So how much pressure you put on it and how much output you'll get. So you can test it by clicking on the tablet. Um, and you know, the right now, the way I've have it, it's slightly uh, above the center point. So it starts off about right here, which is even. Okay. So it just means that, if you put this level input, you'll get this level output. If you put this level input, you'll get this level output. So uh, that might be good. If you're a person that has, like you're heavy handed and you know, you're know you always pressing real hard on it like that, uh, then you might want to lower it. Um, and what that does is when you press hard, it allow you to get a lighter output and then you can press even harder and then get that if you're a person that's which is where I had it where you're you got your light handed you know you're trying to get that lightness going then you might want to start here so then when you press real light it reacts and that's what you want you want it to press light and it reacts and then as you press heavier then you can get all the way up to the highest pressure point 
mapping works like this. Uh, if you're right-handed or left-handed, you can change it down here. And you can go in here and you can click on which monitor you want to use or you can use all of it. I can put it on which is called monitor one or I can do it on a part of the screen and I can specify like where I want it at. I can move it over. Um, I can put, you know, top to left. So I mean, you can really customize this however you want. And then after you get to the mapping part, you can do the working area setting um, where you can do all of the tablet, you know, so you can use the whole area or if you want to adjust it, you can do part. Uh, and then you can take these and you can drag it where you want. Um, but for now, I'm using the whole thing because I want to be able to use the whole tablet. All right, the next mode is the function. And the function area is awesome because you can program these keys that are on the tablet to do what you want them to do. Um, so there's eight hot keys. Uh, right now I have the first key set to F5. Um, I have this one right under its space. And then this is set to K2 is set to I. So the I, if you press I, that allows you to get the eyedropper tool. So the way I can choose a color that I'm trying to sample. Uh, I got space, uh, K4 is V. Uh, v is a shortcut to um, go to the selector tool. And then I have control C is to copy, control Z is to undo, control V is to paste, and control S is to save. And let me tell you, I've sometimes I, I forgot these keys are on here. <laughs> I don't even really use them like I uh, should, but it might make life a little easier, you know, if I did use that. But so you can adjust these however you want them to be. Um, you know, you can find out you know, which codes you can use and you can add them in there and customize it. So to make it fit whatever you want it to do. Um, for the touch, the uh, touch top, you know, you can have it zoom in, you can have it zoom out. Um, touch top, I have it for control plus. Control plus allows you to zoom in and control I or control minus allows you to zoom out. Perfect example is right here. You can see my tablet and if I, and I'll cover my face up for a second. If I just put my finger there uh, and you're looking at my screen, I can scroll up and it'll change it to the plus sign. If I scroll down, I'll change it to the minus sign and zoom out. Um, so that comes in handy. So, but that's a good option if you want to do that. And then if I touch left, um, this is a cool feature too as well on Adobe Illustrator or the Adobe products. I think it's the same on everyone. But if you want to um, if you want to make your stroke bigger, you can um, or if you want to increase the font or whatever, increase the size rather. I'm sorry. <laughs> if you want to increase the size, then you can go to the left and or you can go to the right. And let me show you that how that works. So let's go to my brush and press capital. So right now you can't really see it, but it's a tiny little dot. And if I, if I keep going to the right, you see that it gets bigger. And now when I draw, I use my stylus. And when I draw, okay, uh, it's cool. Now, automatically, this is not touch sensitivity, um, so you need to adjust it so you can have a calligraphy brush made with the pressure sensitivity option within um, within Adobe Illustrator. Control Z that. All right, and once again, like I used my keyboard, I could have used it right there because I don't ever remember which one it is. Um, so here are those steps. And then there's one more thing I wanna show you on this. And I'm not really trying to get into Illustrator because this is not about Illustrator today. Uh, so you got the touch, you set that up and then got the about us. Um, so you can check, make sure your versions are up to date. You can do diagnostic scale, I mean, diagnostic tools. If you're having problems, you can contact Vike. 
Um, so if you're a beginning artist, this is something that you definitely want to get. Uh, doing it with the mouse or doing it with the pen tool on the computer is great. You can get the job done, but if you have a tablet, you can get so much creative and you know and save so much time with it. So definitely check out the Vike A50. If you are interested in purchasing it, uh, I have a link description for my Amazon affiliate account. It is an affiliate account, uh, affiliate link, so it doesn't cost anything for you to use. I mean, it's not going to change the price or anything like that, but by you using this link and going and purchasing that, and even if you don't want to purchase that, maybe you want to purchase something else through Amazon, whatever you purchase through that link will help me out tremendously. Uh, I am still growing my YouTube. I have two channels, so I'm trying to work both of them. I have my Just the Norm channel, my music channel, and then I have my Just the Art channel. So I'm trying to grow both of them. And anything that you do can help. So by watching and commenting and sharing the videos and subscribing, you would definitely help me out. And if you click those links and you go buy something or buy this tablet if you need it, uh, that definitely will benefit me by giving me a small commission from that sale. Well, I hope this review helped you. If you need more information about the tablet, definitely comment below. If you are interested in Adobe Illustrator tutorials, definitely check this playlist right here. Until next time, take care.